Okay, well, uh, welcome to my video. Basically, it's uh, a short video I'm planning I'll put on YouTube to uh, extol the virtues of um, Carrera track uh, with Santex covering. Uh, essentially, the, the concept was I wanted to be able to have a track that could handle my 124th cars, 132nd cars, the uh, homemade cars, the Skeletrix cars, uh, and as you can see on the back here, there's some pink cars, which even the pink cars, once a little bit sorted, do actually run quite well on this track. Uh, obviously, with the uh, location, uh, it's a bit cramped. Uh, this is my loft. So we're looking at a, a straight that's uh, from corner to corner. Uh, just under 16 foot. It's actually 16 foot either way, but obviously we've got polystyrene there to stop the car smashing into it. Uh, it's been a, a long process uh, getting this uh, Santex because I just find other things to do for some strange reason. <coughs> now, when I was doing model slot car, I, I bought some um, retro cars off eBay. Um, essentially, uh, they work rather well. Uh, the uh, the Revels, um, when you look about it, you think about these cars were running around tracks in the 1960s. You've got a Cox, you've got a Dynamic, uh, and you've got this uh, lovely Lotus 30 by Unique. And you've also got a Cox 1970s uh, stamp chassis, which is uh, a pre-runner to the, the Palmers and uh, the Womps. And uh, <coughs> to give you an idea of <coughs> what these... Uh, motors were that they were running well that is one big 3016 uh, so uh, and it and it goes rather well you notice the tires on this are the are the original and uh so despite being original they're, they're foam at the back and uh and the rubber at the front uh, well they weren't an awful lot of money wasn't paid for them so i can't complain uh, they, uh, they were bought with really rubbish paint jobs and uh, they were soaked in um, Parazone to um, to get the old paint off and uh, just reapplied some more paint. Um, unfortunately it didn't take too well but uh, it's not too bad from a distance. This one is uh, particularly interesting um, as you can see from the, the motor. So we're looking about 1964-1965 from that for that particular car. Again with, with foam wheels on the back, and foam really loves Santex because we were racing on Santex back in the late 60s um, before we went over to. And this, is, of course, is the, the Cox with orange tyres, uh, original foam orange tyres, and uh, that works rather well around here as well. And again, it's got quite a beefy little motor in there. Uh, this is the one that I, I bought, um, which was a rust kit and as you can see that's uh, actually got uh, rubber tyres on it um, and a plastic shell so really it, the, because of the wonderful depth of these Carrera tracks you are looking at the, uh, being able to handle large uh, slot car guides that um, go far far deeper than uh, what you would expect. These are 124 scale, the ones on are down there now. Uh, obviously, those are 132nd scale. Uh, the two cars at the front are uh, resin bodies, Mac Pinches makes those resin bodies, um, and the chassis were from Ralph Parker because he was uh, he designed and built a, a rather good chassis, and they, they go very well around this particular circuit. Obviously, uh, the more modern uh, chassis, well, they're not that modern really. Uh, Philip de Lespinay's TSRF 132nd and 124th scale work quite well around here. This particular chassis um, was the top qualifier uh, to Riverside, Riverside Raceway when Andy Brown still was up in Newcastle. Had a children in need to benefit show, and for some strange reason, I top qualified with that chassis 
This one used to be good, I suppose. That's just a, a cheap chassis I bought off of eBay for about eight quid. I'll just chuck them body shells on again. Foam tyres, more normal black foam tyres. Yes, they work very well on soundtracks. So, uh, that's the box of uh, cars I usually whiz around on. And uh, I'll try and get you some action shots. Okay, well I'm hoping that this will work well. It's uh, obviously not ideal. Uh, because it's just parking down that straight. Oh, I've got to walk back and uh, get the car from it. Uh, hopefully it will look good. Well, uh, welcome to my video. Basically it's uh, a short video I'm planning I'll put on YouTube to uh, extol the virtues of um, career 